Thank you for joining us for the weekly update from Crestview Middle School. I am here with two of our seventh graders. I'll allow them to introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Sonia and I'm a state qualifier for the Math Read Math competition. Hi, my name is Eric and I'm a state qualifier for the Math Counts competition. Well, these are just um, two of our seventh graders that have qualified for these competitions. We have several more. Um, these two were just lucky enough to join me here today um, and we're going to hear from them in just a few minutes about some of the things that are taking place at Crestview. Crestview staff would like to thank our Crestview parent organization who provided an outstanding meal for the Crestview teachers during the conferences last week. Thank you to the CPO as well as to all the parents who provided drinks to go along with the meal. It was greatly appreciated. Join us for this year's Drama Awards via Zoom on March 12th at 7 p.m. Any students involved in any way in drama and their families are welcome to join in an evening of fun, performances, and celebration. Dress in your red carpet best and we'll see you there. Thank you, students. We appreciate your help um, with the weekly update and I'm sure that you guys will do a great job in our state math competitions. I want to give a shout out to our Science Bowl winners. Um, one of our teams took first place in Missouri Regional Science Bowl. So congratulations to those students. They did an excellent job of representing Crestview. And one follow up to Eric's announcement about the Drama Awards, if you want to join that, the Zoom link is actually in the email. A couple more things to discuss quickly with you is, one, we ask that if you have an in-person student that you please um, remind them of the expectations that while they're at school, they have to wear their mask. They have to keep it on at all times unless it's in the lunchroom while they're eating or drinking and that they have to wear it properly. It needs to be worn over their nose and mouth. Um, it is a commitment that everybody made that if they decided they wanted to be here in person at school, whether you're a student or you're an adult, that you have to follow that expectation. Um, recently, we've seen many of our students not wearing them properly, and we don't want this to be a conflict um, with them, with their peers or them with an adult or, or in any situation. So please remind the students that the expectation is that they wear their mask and it covers up their nose and mouth at all times while they're in the school building unless of course it is during the lunchroom while they're eating or drinking. Um, we're excited to welcome many of our students back um, for the fourth quarter. Uh, we also know that there are other students who are choosing to keep their child virtually and you will be able to access Zoom links for those fourth quarter classes after our spring break. But we're also planning for next year as well. So I wanted to make sure that you read the email thoroughly this week to make sure that you see the information about a possible online option for your students for next year. So we're asking that you review those materials, see if an online option is something that you feel would be right for your child for the upcoming school year. Um, please note that there will be significant changes in what that would look like. It is not going to be virtual, which is what I would consider our students are doing now. It is gonna be much more of an online option with some limited choices on sometimes with some of the classes. There is a, a more detailed web page that you have a link to in the email, but beginning Monday, March 15th, you will have an option to be able to make that selection for your child. Um, if you do, one of us will be following up with you. Um, but if you want your child to return in the fall, um, then you don't have to do anything. The expectation is that we are open in the fall, ready to welcome all of our students back. But we also know that there may be some situations that some students may require an online option and I'll need you to respond um, between March 15th and March 21st if that was to be an option for you. Um, and no, please note that in making that decision, you're making that for the entire next school year. So that, that concludes everything for this week's um, weekly update. Um, I also wanna give a special thank you to our parent organization for purchasing some chairs to put in the courtyard. Um, when we've had these sunny days, it's been a great place for our teachers to take our classes outside, get them spread out, enjoy some sunshine and read some books and have their classes outside. So I wanted to thank those of you who donated to our CPO and to our CPO for making that contribution to um, our school courtyard. Um, have a great day and, and an enjoyable weekend. Thank you.